Continuing on with the urinary system, I want to bring up a few things. Um, the urinary system is responsible for homeostasis. Remember, homeostasis is balance. Balance. Your body demands balance. Balance and fluid volume doesn't want to be dehydrated, doesn't want fluid volume overload. It wants to be in balance. And you know this, don't you? When you had your last big gulp, 44 ounce or whatever, you drink it and a half an hour late, there you go, trotting to the pot because your body wants balance, okay? Also, it wants balance in pH acidity. It, it demands balance. Also, it has to balance out our electrolytes. Your electrolytes are your potassium, your calcium, your sodium, magnesium, and your chloride. So remember this, potassium, when, it ha when we're talking about um, our diuretics, how the diuretics have us waste our potassium on most of them, we end up having to take extra potassium. So if it got too low, you'd have hypokalemia, too much hyperkalemia. And the same for each one of these. Um, the body wants balance is very much involved in that process. Um, you need to take in about 1,500 milliliters of fluid every day. And as we age, we are just tend to be dehydrated. You know, when folks go into the hospital, you have to have a qualifying diagnosis. Well, if you have an elderly person, you have dehydration because they are almost always dehydrated despite some of our best efforts, right? Um, so let's look at the structures. We already talked about the kidneys and then the ureters, one for each kidney, then the bladder, and then the urethra. Now, the problems that can come from these, if you have an infection in the bladder, it's cystitis, itis, inflammation or infection of, and a cyst, it's a hollow holding. Right, a cyst. So this is cystitis, is a bladder infection. Nephritis is a kidney infection. It's an infection of those little nephrons inside the kidneys. Okay. So what other issues you might have for a man would be benign prostate hypertrophy. The prostate sits right up inside here, and it gets larger and harder as a man ages and can press that urethra shut. As it gets in, enlarged, it can just press on that urethra and pass through. And when that happens, the bladder can fill up very large full of urine and they're unable to pass that urine. And that can be extremely painful. Um, and that is benign prostate hypertrophy. Benign because it's not cancerous and it's a hypertrophy. The tone of the prostate is hyper, is increased. And so it's benign prostate, not prostrate, prostate hypertrophy, okay? And then in women, we tend to get prolapsed bladders because of babies, birthdays, and gravity. So our bladder just kind of plops over. Also, if you've had a hysterectomy, it kind of makes your bladder fall over. And so what happens is the bladder fills with fluid, you urinate it out, but you're left with some um, extra urine left in there, retention, urine retention, and that urine sits there in the sediments and so forth. And as you can clearly see this could lead to a bladder infection as well. Of course, we don't like to catheterize people. If you got a catheter, you got a UTI, right? Urinary tract infection. Um, so we try not to have that with these folks. Um, sometimes there's not much we can do. Um, with these uh, problems with the urinary system. Um, so I will follow this video up with a list of drugs.